All right. Now it's time. Top 10 players in the league. All um, right. Jalen Brunson, number one. Put it. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants oh, to start? you think I'm kidding? Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> I'm so joking. Um, yes, let's I'll hear go. it. I swear to God, um, if you have Tobias Harris at one. <laughs> I have at number one. How do you say this? Oh, off. <laughs> now, I think I have... I think I still have yep, Jokic as I agree. one. Why do you feel that way? I mean, you look at him. He's unstoppable. <laughs> yeah. Look still. at him. It's just like, some white guy. <laughs> like, I think he knows how to lead his team. And yes, what happened in the playoffs was unfortunate, but still, I still okay, have Jokic. I'm glad. At one. I'm glad like, I, I also have Jokic at one. Um, I think people have. We'll probably be commentating throughout your list, Raj. Um, but. I think people have kind of like got this idea in their head now. It's like, oh, he's not the best player in the league. It's like, all right, calm down. Like, he ran into a matchup, a team specifically designed to beat him. Um, he was so dominant last year, won the title, and like, actually, no one on earth can stop him. Yeah. Joker at one. Good pick. And right. Raj will take your second player in the league. My Cameroonian Pookie Bear, Joel Embiid. Boo! Get out of here. No. I mean, okay. Embiid, okay, everyone shits on him so much. But, like, he was unstoppable until he hurt his knee and then developed half Bell's palsy or something. I think he's better now from that. I still think he's at two. No. Fair? Incorrect. Who do you guys have? Okay. I have Luca at two. You have Luca at two? Yes. You still got Jokic at one. Yes, I still have Jokic at one. Okay. I have Luka at two. Okay. All right, and beat at two for Raj. What do you got, three? Three I have. Oh, where did my list go? Three I have uh, Giannis. Okay. And then at four I have – I have Luka at four. Okay. I'll put him there. Five I unfortunately have Tatum. Okay. As much okay. as I hate him. Um, six, I have Steph. I still think he's good. Yeah, Just, I um, think. In a, ter- in a terrible situation with Mr. Let me kick everyone in sight and uh, <laughs> oh, and an elimination game. Dude, that uh, – side note, that me- that uh, video of Clay Thompson picking up a phone and saying, Ni hao. Dude, that's have- – did, did you guys see that he's working out with the Bahamas national team? Um, I had no idea he had Bahama ties. Like, oh my god! It's him, DeAndre Ayton, and Buddy Heald. I was, I had no idea Clay Thompson had ties to the Bahamas. This brother, it's, this brother's oh. cooked. Uh, <laughs> so he's num- at five or six. Uh, what number was I at? Brother, we're asking you. <laughs> oh, you were, at, okay, wait. You were Jokic, Embiid, Giannis, Luca, Steph. Steph, okay. Oh, no, you had Tatum, Steph. No, I Tatum, Tatum, then Steph. Okay, yeah, Tatum, five, six, Steph. Okay, at seven, I have KD. Okay, okay, you're giving a lot of love to KD. I think KD's still good. I think he's just – that whatever situation he's in, in the experiment the basically – The Suns. The Suns experiment didn't work. KD got to go. <laughs> Chelsea wants to kill me right now. Bring him to New York. Uh, I have uh, – I have Shay next. Okay. Okay. I think Shay's solid still. And then what? That means I have two more. Yeah. Uh, the guy Pookie Bear LeBron at nine. Yeah, Wait, yeah. are we talking about for next season or this season? For next season. Talk, going yeah. going into next season. Uh, still Brother, <laughs> what the? Yeah. F- <laughs> That's, that was the entire point of the list. That's what I asked at the beginning. <laughs> Well, I was more thinking about age for LeBron, and I was like a little bit like eh, putting him there. But I guess I think that's I'll have fair. Yeah. I, the fun thing with LeBron is there's no evidence to suggest that like he was a top ten player this year, and there's no evidence to suggest he's just going to like fall off a cliff going in the next year. It's a fair point. Like, you're right, you're right. He's, he's, he has been solid for four years, and ever since he won the championship in 2020, it's like, oh, when's LeBron going to be bad? When's LeBron going to be bad? And he's just always good. <laughs> Yeah, I, there's still that all-time tweet where it's like, oh, LeBron's about to turn 30. His shenanigans won't last for much longer. And it's like he's been playing for like eight years after that. 
And then at 10, I have Anthony Davis. Okay. As long as he's not injured. Wow. Okay. Peter, you want to take a crack at it? Okay. Uh, so I have what? I had Joker and then Luca. Um, I also had Giannis at three. I had Embiid at four. So we basically just switched those two, essentially. You guys are showing a lot more love to Embiid than even I am. Re- Brother. This dude was literally the MVP before he got hurt. I know. I'll get. I'll get. All right. Talk about all right. It. All right. All right. All right. Um, I had. I had Shy at five um, because I think going into next season, I think he's going to take one of those leaps because he's already kind of proven to be one of the superstars. He's really consistent as a superstar. That's kind of my my big thing. Um, I think he's going to be even better next year because that team is so young. They're only going to get better. Uh, then I have Jason Tatum at six. Um, yeah, he's good. Who would have thought? Uh, then I have at number seven, this is going to be a little bit of a hot take. I think Anthony Edwards is going to be number seven. Um, obviously this year he was pretty inconsistent, uh, with how good he was. Obviously he's only like 22 years old. He's very, very young, but I think going in, yeah, don't ever say that to me again. <laughs> That's terrifying. Um, <laughs> he has shown those flashes of being incredible. I think he's just going to be more consistent next year. And if he is more consistent, he's going to be one of the top 10 players in the league. And he's MJ's son. So it's hard to keep him out of the top 10. Uh, then I have Jalen Brunson. I think he's going to continue hit on his stretch of being absolutely incredible for the New York Knicks. Um, I, I, I think he's going to get even better this next year. I think they're going to add some some more shooting around him, so he's not just going to be the sole offensive option, which is going to make him, I think, look better overall as a player because that's actually what made his good his his game good uh, in Dallas because he wasn't just a shooter. Um, but then he's kind of like we've almost seen like both halves of his game, but just not combined. Uh, because we've seen how much of like a shooting potential he has in New York. But then when he was on Dallas, he wasn't the number one option. He was a much better passing guard. So I think we'll be able to see kind of both of those next year. Then at number nine, I think going into the next year, I think Wemby is going to be a top 10 player next year. But you're saying, are you saying right now he is? Right now, I think this guy going into next season is going to be the ninth best player. Okay. I'm, I will die on that hill. This dude should have been defensive player of the year. He is. No, he shouldn't have. Yes, he should have. Don't. Uh, you can't give defensive player of the year to a guy who has 18 wins. Brother, what do you want him to do? He wasn't defending to win games. That clearly wasn't the case. Oh, oh so sorry. Sorry. I forgot this was a team sport. It wasn't He was like one of the best primary defenders and had the most blocks in the league. I'm not. I'm not doubting that, but you just can't give awards out to guys who who's on teams that oh, blow. My. God, you are the worst. You are the absolute worst. Wemby's a great defender, but I, I like you need to win the game. <laughs> yeah, he can average like a twenty-five point triple double with like borderline ten blocks. What do you want him to do? Well, I'm not blaming. I'm not blaming Wemby for his team being bad. Like that's not the case. But like, I can't be giving out awards <laughs> to guys who are on teams who are uh, not doing anything of consequence. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway. Uh, I get LeBron at 10. Uh, my glorious yeah. Pookie Bear is still top 10. Fair. Number one, I have Jokic, of course. Um, yeah. Multiple time MVP. More MVPs than anyone in the league. Won the chip last year. Still the best player on the team, no doubt there. Two, I, I still have Giannis at number two. I think people forget uh, he won the title in 2021. He was awesome this year. He averaged 30 points. He's still one of the better defenders in the league. And that's in contrast to my guy at number three, who's Luka, who's Better than Giannis offensively, but I think if Luca's a hundred offensively and Giannis is a ninety, Luca's a sixty defensively and Giannis is a hundred. I think he That's is fair. such a better defender than Luca. Um, but I was I wanted to drop Luca farther, but I just don't because of his defensive performance. But the guys I have behind him just don't have the pedigree to cook up. So he sticks at number three there. He had a great season, but it is going to take a lot for him, um, and we can see what he does next year. It's going to take a lot for him to crack the Jokic Giannis for me in the top mm -hmm. there because of how Jokic is a better offensive player than Luka and better defender and Giannis is close offensively and a much better defender. So it's going to be really hard for him to crack it, but 
Jokic and Giannis are generational players, and we maybe we'll talk a little bit more in the offseason about it. Like, Jokic and Giannis are going for like top 15 all time type of stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. And some co- seasons coming up here, especially if Giannis can get another title. Um, anyway, sidebar. I have Shea at number four. Um, okay. Shea had a fantastic year. Shea, I think P- Shea's a very underrated defender. Uh, uh, underrated. He's a really good defender. He just, people don't talk about his defense a lot. He averages 30. He's efficient. Um, he, like Peter, you kind of mentioned, he's leading, leading a young Oklahoma City mm-hmm. team. He's going to be even better next year. And I think he's a tick better than number five, at, who I have as Steph. Um, I was glad you guys had him high. I think like Steph still had a really good year. And his team's really struggling. Steph is not a bad defender. He's an okay defender. He's great offensively. I think Shea's a little bit worse offensively, a little bit better defensively. That's why I'm giving him the fourth best player in the league, which I, honestly just for Shea to be considered the fourth best player in the league um, or within the top 10 is like crazy from where he started. So just like hats off to him. Right behind Steph, I have Embiid. Um, I still think he offers that top end potential. That's better. But I will say for Steph, Shea... Steph, Shea, Luka, Giannis, Jokic, they've all played better in the playoffs. Um, Shea right. is a player kind of similar to Embiid where draws a lot of contact at the line, still was able to get it done in the playoffs. Um, the OKC Thunder, Thunder did not fail because of Shea. They failed because they didn't have other talent around him, whereas you can argue that the Sixers at times have failed because of uh, Embiid. So, I mean, no disrespect to Embiid at six, but I think when you have guys like I don't. I don't feel comfortable putting him in front of Giannis or Luca just because of what they've done in the playoffs. And then like Shea, Stefan, and Beat, I think are in a, a class right there where they're competing. But Steph has the pedigree all time, and Shea was really just is a fantastic player. Yeah. Um, but I, and Beat could also go out win, next year and win the MVP. So we'll see there. Right behind Embiid, I have Tatum. I wanted to put him higher because of the championship run, but just because of his shooting performance. I can't give him there, but I'll give him because he's younger and a, a better defender. LeBron right behind him at eight. I think people forget how good LeBron was in the playoffs this yeah. year. He was um, really he could, good. He was really good in the playoffs this year. Still great offensively, still good defensively, which is why I have him a tick above Anthony Edwards, who's at nine for me. Um, Anthony Edwards, a guy who struggles a little more offensively, better defender, on-ball defender than LeBron, um, but doesn't eclipse him yet. Number 10, I have Kevin Durant. Anthony Edwards gets the nod over Durant because Anthony Edwards walked into Durant's house, took his money, yep. kicked him down the stairs, <laughs> shot him at gunpoint, and sent him back into Cancun. So that's my list. A close, I we know we said top 10. A close 11, I wanted to give a shout out to Jalen Brunson, Jalen Brown, and Anthony Davis. Those are guys for me that are like right on the edge of cracking into the top 10. Brunson, just he's just kicked out because there's all really good players above him yeah, and yeah. just because he's maybe still like he doesn't have the reputation just because he's such a uh, low draft pick but um a guy that i would keep an eye on for potentially getting up there in the mb steph shea class if he has a really good season next year oh yeah so yeah